Mason Lowry, this is the Cinco Vegas Cask Strength Firkin. Welcome to High Cigar Reviews. I thank you for joining me. Where tonight I will be reviewing this cigar from Cinco Vegas. It is the Cask Strength. As is per usual with Cinco Vegas, this has very glossy bands on it. I hope the details are picking up. Cool bands nonetheless. It's a Nicaraguan cigar. It has a Corojo wrapper on it. And the wrapper looks and feels really, really good. Kind of a reddish hue to it. No real big veins. Um, nice smooth feel, no real tooth to it at all. Good looking double cap, quite a quite a large double cap. Um, the pack is nice and firm overall. Kind of feels kind of hard in that spot. I hope that's not a knot. Doesn't feel like it's going to be. So yeah, aesthetically, no complaints at all. So I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna light it, I'm gonna smoke it, and I'll be back to give my first thoughts on the Cinco Vegas Cask Strength Firkin. Getting started here, and the flavor profile is interesting. When I first lit the cigar up, I was mainly getting two flavors. Really intense black pepper and really intense spice. As I've got, and I'm only about an inch in. This is a 6x60, by the way. I don't think I said that earlier. It doesn't look like a 6x60 to me, but whatever. Um, I'm only about an inch in, and the flavors have really softened. Um, I still have a spice, but it's a really soft, sweet spice. A little bit of breadiness, a little bit of general cream, some light roast coffee, and then as the finish is starting to dwindle away, I'm still getting a black pepper, but it's definitely much softer than it was earlier. Um, it's not a bad thing. I prefer a more intense uh, flavor profile than I'm getting right now, but not every cigar can be or should be the same, so no big deal. Meat and full in body, very soft flavors, uh, but they're very complimentary. It works very well together, so really no complaints. Um, Construction-wise, it, it, I had to give it a touch-up. It seems kind of like a thicker wrapper. It might give me some trouble here and there, but nothing terrible yet. So, uh, jaw and smoke output are fine. So, I will continue to smoke this shtick, and I'll be back when we're about halfway down. We'll continue on. Continuing on, and while the flavors have become more intense, and I like that, there's always a bad to go with the good, and the bad is the construction is not great. Um, I've had to give it a couple complete touch-ups, uh, and because of that, the flavors are a little washed out. I've had to double puff to keep the wrapper going, so the flavors that I can tell are similar. Uh, there's an increase in the black pepper. Um, that sweet spice is still kind of there. It's kind of hard to tell. It, it's become hot. Um, it's not. It, it's not squishy very far down. But I, I can only do what the wrapper will let me. I normally don't like to take double puffs. Um, but I mean, I don't know. Uh, not a lot to say. Not terribly impressed right now. Um, so yeah, flavors are pretty much the same. But it's really being hindered by bad construction. It seems like maybe now single puffs will work, the entire wrapper is lighting up, so I'll be back to finish it out and give my overall thoughts. Finishing it out, and it's basically more of the same. Flavors are really washed out. I I've had to touch it up multiple times. Um, so, not a lot to say flavor-wise. Black pepper is still there, the spice is still there. Not a lot has changed from a flavor perspective, and unfortunately not a lot has changed from a construction perspective. Um, really don't know what to say. I'm very disappointed, but uh, I guess that's the way it goes when you're dealing with something that's handmade. So I'll be back in a second to give my overall thoughts. So there you have it, the Cinco Vegas Cask Strength Firkin. I wish it was as fun to smoke the cigar as it is to say the name. Uh, you know, when you're dealing with a handmade product like cigars, this is going to happen. You're going to get one every once in a while that doesn't burn right. Um, it, it's, it's just how it is. Uh, and I, I'm fine with that because it seems like 99% of the time, the cigar is going to perform well. It's going to burn well. It's going to taste right. Smoke output is going to be there. Jaw is going to be good. But every once in a while, you'll get a cigar that has knots in it. 
that doesn't burn right. It just, it is what it is. Um, Cinco Vegas as a whole is a good brand. Uh, the Gold, the Gold Maduro, and the Classic are among some of my favorite everyday cigars, especially the Classic. I think the Cinco Vegas Classic is one of the best everyday cigars that you can buy, especially at its price point. Um, this one did not impress me. It is what it is. Who am I? Um, the flavors in the first third were good. Soft spice, black pepper, uh, what did I say? Uh, light roast coffee, cream. It just, from the halfway point on, the construction took a downturn. So it's one for the dead can. Um, it happens, it's no big deal. Life goes on, the world keeps spinning. Um, Anyway, I thank you for watching. Um, follow me over on Instagram if you like daily cigar content, videos, pictures, that sort of thing. I'm at Howard Cigar Reviews there, at Howard Cigar Reviews here. Um, and until next time, I'll see you.